morning from Kevin Trail City. I shot a video a few minutes ago of the pilot in action, uh, but I shot it from ground level. I thought, hey, we'll get a different vantage point, but that didn't pan out because um, look at this one, how it turns over there. See that? It didn't pan out because he was too far away and it wasn't really showing up that well. But take my word for it. Uh, he's out and moving around. I saw one plane. So you can see this ab abomination going this way and then turning. Maybe the wind caught it heavy over there. And then there's one over there behind the trees. And then uh, two, three, four. There's a nice clear one right across the sky, right over there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that one a bit. Yeah, my zoom is no good on this camera. I do need a better camera, I know that. So they left us alone for a few days and maybe it was because it was too windy, I don't know, but... It's really funny when you look this way and you see these straight lines in the sky, total chemtrail abomination over here, and then look this way, and you're like, huh, where is the chemtrail? Where is anything? Well, they only prefer this way, the uh, south end of the city. Maybe it's because it blows towards the city or blows away from the city. I don't know, maybe it's because, I don't know, who knows why. You tell me why. These chemtrail abominations, oh, they're coming in this way, so maybe they do know. Blowing in over here. Project Blue Beam, you know? We're all going to see space aliens and go to war. Maybe that's why. Maybe they're fertilizing our crops for us since they killed all the bees. Maybe they're pr protecting us from Russian space weapons or direct energy weapons. Maybe they're... Uh, I don't know. Maybe Monsanto has paid these private planes and drones to go around and spray everything with these diabolical seed killers that only their aluminum resistant and barium resistant seeds can uh, afford to grow. Yeah, well, the wind is definitely moving this way. You can see these are getting over here a little bit more where I'm standing. And I sort of half hoped that uh, through this winter I wouldn't be able to see chemtrails. I sort of half hoped that, well, it's winter time. But as you can see, there is frost on the roof. And it is getting to be winter. I can see my breath. It's getting to be that time, and I thought maybe they'll quit during winter time, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Chemtrail City. This one's funny. I wonder if when they look back at that, do they look at that as a mistake? Oops! Oops! I made a really obvious chemtrail instead of these. Or, uh, they're all pretty obvious, I don't know. Anyway, this is update number seven from Chemtrail City, geoengineering at its finest. And when the Nazi pilots and the Nazi drone operators learn how to recreate natural chem, natural clouds by Chemtrail, I'm sure they will. But until then, we have these abominations where kids who were born say less than 10 years ago, you know, they might think that this is a normal cloud formation. That's what clouds look like. That's what clouds look like, Bob, Bobby, your grandpa. Don't question grandpa. What's the clouds look like? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's early in the morning. Anyway, that's my seventh update. 